Open the store! Hmm, let's see. A few plastic containers, bottles and boxes, light bulbs, cables, grease. Uh-huh, and a small carton of fuses. Hopefully the fuses work. You never know in this. Hmm. There's just one fuse left in the box. But at least it looks unused. I reckon it's still out of work. Just encrusted fuse box. There are a lot of wires coming out of the top of it, which then run along the floor joists. <laughs> Doesn't look exactly safe. An old dust-encrusted fuse box. There are a lot of wires coming out of the... The fuse! The fuse, man! Open your eyes! <laughs> okay, then... Just like everything else of Fuller's, pretty well junk. Maybe I ought to take out the dead fuse first, uh, before I put in the good one. The blown fuse must be under here. Huh, Fuller's already had a go at it. 
but again, he couldn't sort it out. I should throw that away, otherwise I'll get mixed up. Well, that's that. Now all we need is some power. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, let there be light. Don't need this anymore. So let's go up. A wonderful working day awaits, full of appreciation and deep personal fulfillment. Ugh. Finally! You make a big deal about going to college, but you're too sappy to replace a fuse. Put that board outside in front of the store. Get on with it! The picture frames could do with being a little more professionally presented. But to be honest, they don't really deserve it. can you say? A good reason to have doubts about humanity? I've only been working here a few days, and I've already given up hope that he might, just once, behave like a normal human being. This is probably... And the reality looks a little different. Fatter and more bald. Know what I'm saying? Uh, excuse me. What do you want? <laughs> the store's not doing too well, is it? What's that got to do with you? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's no doubt because of the vast competition here in Biddeford that nothing's going on here. I mean, what else could it be? This is the only photo studio here. That's what I thought. I've swapped out the fuse. Yeah? And now? Do you want a medal? I told you to take the damn sign outside. The store isn't doing very well. I don't think a cheap sign is going to change that. <sighs> but what the hell? to get some portraits done. Ooh. Very good. We can start right away, dear lady. But I thought Darren would... What? But he's just an errand boy. A pretty child like you deserves a real photographer. Here. Go and pick up the post and take this letter to Mrs. Biba at the diner in the main square. I've got... things to do. Huh. 
pretty senseless driving around Maine in a convertible. But I reckon that's not what it's really about. It was expensive, and that's what counts. A young woman. She looks sad. Um, everything okay? No, it's not actually. Um... Carrie died here two years ago. She was my best friend. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, how did it happen? You're not from around here. No, uh, I'm from Boston. I'm spending the semester break at uh, my mother's. Yes. Well, Carrie committed suicide. No one knows why. Everyone loved her. She was intelligent and always happy. I think there's still a picture of her in old Fuller's display window. A young woman with dark hair and green eyes. Yes, I know that picture. A really pretty woman. She had so many plans. After studying, she wanted to open a kindergarten here in Bedford with her husband, Jason. I just don't understand it. From one day to the next, she changed completely. Became really reclusive. She was depressed and melancholic all the time. No one could reach her anymore. Not even Jason. Even though they loved each other more than anything. Then one day, she just threw herself into the sea. And no one knows why? No one. Jason has never gotten over it. He couldn't help her. A few months later, he married that brainless bimbo with a convertible. He probably just felt so lonely. It's definitely got nothing to do with love. <laughs> he must have been really lonely. Excuse me. I'd rather be alone right now. Uh, of course. A flat metal bar. It's broken away from the railings. And then I said to him, Jason, I need a new car, urgently. Oh yeah, and then? What can I say? It's parked right outside. You can't be serious. Um, excuse me? Have you got something wrong with your ears? No, I just wanted a package. Hmm. Something wrong with your eyes then? Huh? Listen, I'm talking here. Can't you see that? Yeah, I can see you as clear as day, unfortunately. But I have to collect a package for Fuller at the photo store. There'll be no line jumping in this store. You're online, okay? Now wait until I'm ready. Ugh, the young kids today. Always. Bad parents, that's... That cop... Hello, is it something like my turn now? Please, don't let me rush you. <sighs> oh, what do you want? I'm supposed to collect something for Fuller. From the photo studio? Collection note? This is the one, right here. Have you still got another note? There's another package for Fuller here. <laughs> Uh, afraid not. Can I take it anyway? Hmm. I might turn a blind eye for nice customers. So you're not going to give it to me then? Hell no! Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? There's a really pretty young lady I've seen walking around here. Uh, do you know her? 
Mmm, you had a real good look at her, didn't you? Do you know her? Well, I wouldn't say no. She came in here and asked about a photo studio, so I sent her up to Fuller's. She interrupted a conversation I was having with a friend. Can you believe that? <laughs> no way. I don't believe it. What brings someone like her, or maybe even you, here to Biddeford? Someone like me? You mean a fat woman in a state full of fitness freaks? You're one charming kind of guy, aren't you? No, no. I meant, why would someone as unfriendly as you work in a town tour shop of all places? Well, you ain't exactly a picture of politeness yourself. But I don't work in a tourist shop either. Okay, look. I grew up in New Jersey. My father didn't think the neighborhood was good for me or my brothers and sisters. So he got himself a job in a paper mill and dragged us all up here. Satisfied with that? And you just weren't able to get yourself a job in construction or driving a truck? Look, you shouldn't go trying to take on someone like me. You're punching way above your weight, son. Huh, <laughs> I can't deny that. Hey, Rosie, uh, did you know Carrie, Jason's first wife? Of course I knew her. I know everyone in Biddeford. At the end of the day, this is the only post office. And what was she like? What's that got to do with you? I just wanted to chat a little. Well, we never spoke too much. She was always so quiet. No comparison with Juliet. At least with her, you can have a decent conversation. Jason's so lucky he got her now. That really wasn't a lie for a guy like Jason. With someone like that dragging him down? Now, at least he's got a life. Ah, so lucky. Just between you and me, one shouldn't speak ill of the dead. But that Carrie, she was always a little strange. Uh-huh. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. There's a few papers here, some sort of forms, and a pad of blank collection notes. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? Is there maybe a package for me there, uh, Darren Michaels? Mm-hmm. There's a few papers here. The lovely Rosie hasn't noticed, and I'm now the proud owner of a blank collection note. Nope, nothing there. flashy thing that is. Probably some tourist cool ride. European. Most of the year, an open top car is a bad idea around here. With that kind of weather, Biddeford should make the raincoat a national uniform. Jebediah Biddeford or something like that, I guess. garbage, and I have no particular interest in it. It belongs to the diner. They do that whole nostalgia thing in there, too. Yeah, just down the street. Thanks a lot. Some people... 
That's Mrs. Biber, I think. As far as I can understand it, she runs this place with a husband. Um, excuse me. I'll be right there. What can I get you, my boy? Actually, I'm, I'm here to give you something. It's... it's from Fuller in the photo store. Psst. Hey, come over here. I can guess what this is about. The dirty old swine! I should have known. Vermin ain't so easy to get rid of. Tell him I... Um, you better tell him yourself. Uh, whatever it is, you... Uh... Claire! You gonna talk all day? The customers are waiting! Get out of here. And tell your boss he can go to hell. Jeez. What the hell was that all about then? Huh. She sure didn't seem to be a fan of Fuller's. I got that much. And the guy in the kitchen, he sure wasn't supposed to see that she had mail. A man in a white lab coat. In his 40s, I'd say. He'll be a doctor. Hello? Young man! You're Darren Michaels. Aren't you? Yes, and you are? Oh, excuse me. My name is Newhouse. I'm a doctor at the health center. <laughs> at the health center? You mean at the hospital out there? Well, yes. We call it the Biddeford Health Center. We, we aren't just a hospital. We have yoga courses and cookery courses and... And what do you want from me? I, yes, I, I know your mother, Darren. We, we had a date here this morning, to be more precise, me and her. We wanted to hang up some pictures your mother painted in the health center. Yes, and she, she's not there. She's normally always, she's always punctual, isn't she? This kind of thing never happens. Look, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'll give her a call, okay? As soon as I'm back in the store. It, maybe she's forgotten about your little meeting, Doc. If you say so, but actually... I gotta go. I'll call Mom later and tell her that you're waiting for her in in the health center. Goodbye. Go <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> What's going on? Your lovely boss. Does he always try to grope his customers? Uh, no, only the women. That's not funny. Uh, no, of course not. What can I say? Fuller's an asshole. Well, he's never going to see me again. Darren, would you bring the photos to the hotel for me? Uh, of course. My pleasure. Thanks, Darren. That's really nice of you. I'm staying at the Wild Coast. No problem. You'll have them this afternoon. Thanks, my hero. <laughs> See you later. Huh. That's the guy from the diner. Is he following Angelina? You're gonna gawk her ass right off. Whatever the bitch said, it's all a dirty pack of lies. Sure. Back to work!
Hey, you got the package? Yep. Well then, give it to me. How'd the photo shoot go? Ah, shut up. I only mean the young lady who... That alley cat's gone, okay? No little goodbye kissy for little Darren. So now, get to work. The shelves here could use with the dusting and the gutters leaky. And you still gotta take my mama's dogs for a walk. Go back to the post office again and ask if the new photo paper's already arrived. The mailman still hasn't brought a collection note. And the store could also do with a good sweeping. He's cranky. I guess Angelina did a number on his ego. Nice job. Okay then, but before I start with all that stuff, I'd better give Mom a quick call and remind her she was going to take the pictures to the hospital. And somehow I've got to get a hold of the film so I can make some prints of Angelina's pictures without Fuller catching me doing it. Yeah, whatever. Look, I just wanted to call my mother, but it was busy. It's not going to make you go bust. <laughs> that broad spends the whole day on the phone, right? She already called up once while I was shooting that sweet... Some drivel about Adrian in a mirror. I hung up. I got better things to do than listen to that kind of crap. My mother called, and you didn't tell me? The old lady's not all there in the head anymore, huh? Where you going? You're not on your own time yet. Mom? Mom! Mom! Okay, think, Darren. I need an ambulance. Emergency? Yes. My name is Darren Michaels. I, I, I've just found my mother. She's unconscious. Take it to the hospital, but take it real easy. I'll be following in my car in a minute. How does it look? Difficult to say, Darren. She must have stumbled. And now she's got a serious head injury. Exactly how bad it is, we can only find that out in the hospital. But, but how can she fall so badly that she... It's not the time for that now. Was your mother taking any kind of medication? Uh, I, I don't know. She always has a load of painkillers for her back. No idea. Please, collect anything that looks like medication and bring it back to me in the hospital. What about allergies? Not that I know about. <laughs> That's not good enough for me. Could you find out the family doctor's number? Perhaps get a hold of her medical records? Yeah, yeah, I'll go look. I'll see you in the hospital. Very good. Oh, yeah, and we need your mother's insurance card. That too? Okay, please, can you hurry? 
medication, insurance card, med history. I better hurry. Mum's handbag. All her papers must be in there. All right, I found the insurance card. There's nothing. It looks like Mum was having a cup of tea while reading before she fell over. That's she always used to joke about it. She said that because of her back, she consumed more pills a day than a whole old folks home. But she never took as much as she was actually prescribed. She always maintained that she'd just forgotten to. The old home doctor then gave her the dispenser at some point. I always found it rather stupid not to take your medicine, preferring to suffer in agony. That's gotta be most of the medication, but maybe she's got more somewhere else. I should check. Mom's bathroom. Like her old place, nothing special. We weren't poor, but my mother was always modest. And by the looks of it, so is this place. An old lighthouse. Underneath a sign with Willow Creek written on it. Perhaps it's from the place in England where she lived. She first came to the U.S. in her early 30s, after the accident. I had a shower here this morning, and Mom laid on a huge breakfast. I ate some of it, for her sake. Huh. Back at uni, I usually don't eat anything in the morning. I had a shower here this morning, and Mom laid on a huge breakfast. I ate some of it, for her sake. Huh. Back at uni, I usually don't eat anything in the morning. Aha! Some medicines. Boxes, little bottles, tubes. I'll take it all with me. I think that's it. I found all the medication. Mom likes thrillers and horror stories, mainly old stuff. Edgar Allan Poe and the like. Perhaps it has something to do with her time in England. She's often told me that she worked in a castle that could well have come straight out of one of these books. I think the furniture is still from her time in England. Quite old fashioned, but stylish somehow. What do we got here? Handkerchiefs, a glasses case, an art magazine, a few Valerian draggies. <laughs> Nothing I could use. Ah, my mother's address book. I ought to find her doctor's number in there. Plant on the windowsill. No idea what kind it is. Hmm. Looks like there's something under the flower pot. It's a little bright. My mother's old bureau. That's where she keeps her letters and financial papers and such. I don't fancy poking around in there just now. Let's see. It won't open. It's got a leather strap running from the back to the front cover, and there's a lock on it, too. Yes, and that's got the address book open. Now then, what was that doctor called? Dr. Wakefield. That's him. And here's his number. I just hope he's still got my mother's old medical records.
Hopefully the number's still okay. Dr. Wakefield, 555... Dr. Wakefield's practice? My name's Darren Michaels. I I have to speak to the doctor. It's an emergency. One moment, please. Dr. Wakefield speaking. Uh, Hello, Dr. Wakefield. This is Darren Michaels. Darren? Is there something wrong with your mother? Mandy said... Yes, she's been taken to the hospital. She's fallen over and and taken a knock to the head. She's not responsive. My God. The hospital needs her medical history. Do you still have it? Yes, yes, we must still have it here. Can you fax it over to the hospital? Yes, of course. Hopefully nothing's happened to her back. Wouldn't the support corset protect her? Not necessarily. The corset supports her spine when she's standing up or sitting, but her back has been so badly affected since the accident that a fall can have repercussions. I don't think I want to know. I'll just go down to the hospital and find out there. Do that. I'll have the records sent to Biddeford. I hope your mother gets well soon. Yeah, me too. Give her my best wishes as soon as she's awake. I'll do that. See you later, Doc. Well, that's done. Dr. Wakefield has always cared well for Mom. With that back of hers, she could barely stand, sit, or lie down without causing her pain. And then she has the burns as well. And now this. I'll just get dressed and then go straight to the hospital. I hope she's all right. Hello, uh, I'd like to see my mom, Rebecca Michaels. Uh, One moment. Your mother is still being examined. Have you got the medication with you? Yes, here. Oh, and I've also got the insurance stuff. When can I... Ah, thank you, thank you. I will tell Dr. Newhouse. Please take a seat for a moment. I will let you know when you can go in and see your mother. insurance card. It it looks like she didn't make the last payment. Uh, I don't know anything about that, and I really don't give a damn. Obviously, it's it's a little unpleasant, but the insurance... Look, I don't give a damn about the insurance. What's happening with my mom? How long is this thing going to take? I'm sure you'll be able to see her soon, but if we can't clear up this thing with the insurance, then we've got a problem here. You'll have to... Okay, Doctor. You can see your mother now. The room at the end on the right. Mr. Michaels? I can't help it if your mother hasn't paid, or or if the bank hasn't made the transfer, or, or if the medical insurance won't cover the treatment. Here, take the card with you and sort it out. In the end, your mother will be back on her feet, but she won't have a roof over her head anymore. How is she? Uh, Not 
not good, I'm afraid. The wounds to her head are quite severe. She must have fallen against the table with all her weight behind her. I is she going to... One should never give up hope. But your mother's in a coma, Dad. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's rather... Rather uncommon for someone to wake from a deep coma. Perhaps if, if she'd been discovered earlier, and there wouldn't have been so much bleeding in her skull. You're saying that if I'd gone to her straight after our talk, then, then she wouldn't be here now, lying in a coma? But my boy, you couldn't possibly have known. Yeah, yeah, how could I have known? Fuller. Uh, sorry? Fuller! She, she phoned the photo store, she... She wanted to speak to me, and Fuller just hung up on her. Wait, no, that's completely... She was conscious and wanted help, but Fuller... <sighs> Darren, get a grip. It was an accident. No one's to blame, and you should just... Just... just what? Simply sit here at the bedside and hope that she gets better? I... I... I can't barely believe that. Darren! You must... Thanks for your help. I... We'll look after your mother round the clock, Darren. You're welcome to stay here. I'll pop in again later. I'm not gonna stay here. I still have things to sort out. That fat bastard's gonna pay for this. There's a stethoscope. Presumably someone from the clinic forgot it when washing their hands. Doc Newhouse has definitely still got his. I'll take it with me. They ought to be able to rustle up another one here. Typical hospital chic. Hmm. There's a little medicine bottle lying here. Perhaps it belonged to the patient who was here before my mother. Laxativa. A powerful laxative. Huh. Sounds useful. A set of scales. Maybe for overweight patients? They certainly look a bit more solid than the ones you have in your bathroom at home. It seems to... She looks... She looks so weak. My mom always had a fighting spirit. And all this just because she tripped. Probably rushing around again, doing someone or other a favor. And then that stupid cupboard. Oh, I could... I... And Fuller. If he even... Oh, I'm gonna squeeze him dry for this. The mirror... Don't go through the mirror. Mom? Mom, are you awake? Did I just imagine that? No, I couldn't have. My wrist still hurts. She must have been terribly afraid of something. But what did she mean? It seems to... She looks... She looks so weak. My mom always had a fighting spirit, and all this just because she tripped. Probably rushing around again, doing someone or other a favor. And then, that stupid cupboard. Oh, I could... I... And Fuller, if he even... I'm gonna squeeze him dry for this. No, no, I can't tell you that. You can talk to her son if you like. He's just... There he is. Hey! Hey! You! What the hell? A nurse. And perhaps an administrator as well. They could well be one and the same nowadays. The way things look... 
it seems that healing the patients is a kind of secondary activity. Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? What do you think? You reckon my mom's gonna be okay? Oh, you... You never can know. But for sure, there are people who come out of comas after much worse accidents than your mother's. And folks who die from much less serious accidents. You mustn't give up hope. Pray for your mother. Statistically speaking, that has no effect whatsoever. It will save my time. What did that guy want? He was asking about your mother. What did he want to know? He wanted to know if... Uh, if... If she made it? Um, yes. But I told him we're not allowed to give out patient information. He ought to speak to you. I don't know the guy, but he's gone out of his way to avoid me twice already. You know who he is? I'm sorry, no. But he's got an accent. I think... I think he's British. But with something else, too. Listen, I don't want that guy anywhere near my mother. You understand? Of course. This Dr. Newhouse, what's he like? Oh, he's very charming. A really nice guy. He isn't from around here. He came to Biddeford a couple of years back. But he's really settled and got on well, and... Yeah, yeah, nice story. I wanted to know if he was a competent doctor. Oh, oh yes, of course. He used to run a huge hospital in Atlanta. He's apparently rather overqualified to be working in a little place like Biddeford. But I think he enjoys the small town life. Your mother is in good hands. Are you from around here? You could say that. I grew up here. Then you surely must be able to tell me some exciting stories about the place. Ah, well, not really all that much happens here. You know, a young woman killed herself a couple of years back. She jumped into the ocean, and they had to call in extra divers to help search for her. They didn't save her, though. They never even found the body. But apart from that, there's never really much happening here. You mean Carrie? D did you know her? Yes, we used to go to aerobics together. Any idea why she killed herself? We'd all like to know the answer to that one. She was always so happy. We used to have lots of laughs together. But then, she changed. She also stopped coming to the sports events and I lost touch with her. I had no idea she was having such a hard time with herself. Thanks for the info. About all this insurance garbage. Best to have a look through your mother's bank transfers. If she's transferred the money, then it's up to the bank and the insurance company to slug it out between themselves. You can simply drop it by with the certificate if you like. Then I'll see to it. Mm-hmm. Thanks. About all this insurance garbage. Best to... You can simply... Mm -hmm. Thanks very much for the information. No problem. to scrabble around in my mother's private things so the damn insurance company doesn't let it die. I mean, what are they going to do if I can't find any proof that my mother transferred that money? Throw her out of the door in a bed? All right, come on, Darren.
wooden box. I've never seen it before. Ah, there's Mum's transfer book. That's what I was looking for. I'll take both. I don't know about all this kind of stuff. Let's see. Huh. I reckon that these are my mom's account transactions. This is the rent, and here's 18 bucks, 45 to the phone company. Aha, uh -huh. and here's the transfer to the insurance company. That's from last month, so she has paid. Those guys need to kick up the butt. What's this? A letter? Dear Rebecca, I have received your letter and am pleased that you're well. Of course, I will furthermore send you the full amount. Your suggestion is well intended and I wouldn't have expected anything else from you. But there's absolutely no question about your receiving any less, even if he has now left home. You have done a wonderful job and it's now time that you did something for yourself. Enjoy your life in Maine. With love, C. Strange. The full amount. Even if he's out of the house now? What's that all about? Here's my mom receiving a fat payment from... A $1,500 transfer from a bank in England. BCW Bank. Willow Creek Branch. Willow Creek? That name's familiar. Mom used to live in England, but was it in this uh, Willow Creek? And who is the C character? And why is he sending her money? Here it is again. And there. She seems to get the same amount every month. Seems to be practically her only source of income. I don't get it. She always told me she got a monthly injury compensation payment from insurance of the guy who caused the crash, which also killed my father. I definitely wasn't supposed to see that. Suppose it didn't really matter to me either. It's just that... It's just not like my mother to keep secrets from me. I... A packet of cigarettes? Is Mom a secret smoker? Oh. Pencils. Run-of-the-mill pencils. Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? I have my mother's bank transfers here. She's already paid for the damn insurance. I was thinking the same thing myself. You know, the insurance company has made a boo-boo. Can I have them? Don't worry, I'll get on it. So that will be the end of it then? Yes, I'll clear it all up with them. Good. can't be right. It's the guy from the hospital with Fuller. Who is that guy? And what's he gonna do with Fuller? I ought to listen in. I can still get Fuller a talking to afterwards. Ancient rickety tool shed. This is where Fuller keeps the junk that he doesn't just throw somewhere in the yard. So, not much. A real efficient line. There seems to be a little still on it. Only the line, I'm afraid. No hook. A length of tow rope. 
a bit more than two yards long and in great condition. Ropes are always good. A completely rusted bucket with big holes in the bottom. The handle's busted off. I'm gonna leave the bucket there. There really isn't much more I can do with it. That's the cage for Fuller's mother's dog. But the dog is usually in the house. At least, I've never seen it here in the cage. Hmm. The water bowl is completely dry. Perhaps I can still use it. Not exactly a fishing rod. That should work. I've just got to be really quiet. If the handle hits against the door, they're both sure to hear it. notice anything. The door is open again. I can go in. I just hope it doesn't squeak. Yeah. Angelina. That might have been it. I wrote down the surname as well. For another ten bucks, I might even remember where I put the note. Not necessary. I know her surname. And your assistant? What about him? What assist? Oh, you mean Darren? That's my errand boy. He works here in the semester holidays. A good errand boy is worth a lot. What do you know about him? Why are you interested in him? You want to poach him from me? No problemo. For a hundred bucks, I'll even write his notice straight away. What the hell? We'll say fifty. Not interested. Do you know him well? What's with all the questions? His mother came in and asked if he could work here for a few weeks. He's a pussy! One of the eternally afflicted. Oh, I feel so bad and the world is so unfair and it all makes no sense. Boo-hoo. So you don't know him. And I've got no it... <sighs> that was close. They're both heading for the exit and I'm none the wiser. <sighs> Who is this guy following then? Me? Or Angelina? And why? Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna ask Angelina about the man. She's British, and that guy's got a British accent. You never know. Perhaps she knows him. But first, I've got unfinished business with Fuller. A used up, chewed up ballpoint pen. <sighs> Good. I filled it out. One package for Fuller at his address. I hope that does it. door hidden behind the photo backdrops. But what the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep 
Keep your hands off, Bulla. Because of you, my mother's in a coma. What have I got to do with your mother? Out, out of my basement. Go on, get out of here. You should have told me that she called. It was obvious that something was wrong. I, I swear I'm gonna... You threatening me? You threatening me? If she doesn't wake up, oh, I am gonna... Out! Get out of here already! You're fired! Out! 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 You better pray she doesn't die. That's the only thing that'll save your fat ass. Get out of here! If I ever catch you here again, you'll end up next to your mother. You're gonna regret this, You'll never do anything, you pussy! You haven't got the balls! You haven't got the guts! You got nothing! I'll think of something. I'll get him back. That man's gonna pay. You just wait. But I still need the film with Angelina's pictures on it from out of his camera. Hmm. I could use his darkroom to develop the film and make the prints. If he's not gonna pay me, then that'll do as a partial payment. Now all I have to do is somehow get him out of the store. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? You know the Bibas? From the diner? Sure I do. What can you tell me about them? I don't gossip, but her marriage ain't exactly the best. Really? Yeah. She's apparently very nice, a little jaded and stressed out. Can't ever forget her work. But him? He's an asshole. Been boozing for two or three years and is a bit free with his fists. Why doesn't she leave him then? Huh. <laughs> No idea. She's real dependent on him. The Donna belongs to the both of them. And besides, where would she go? Nobody would take her. Does Fuller often get packages delivered here? Hmm. Yeah, a few times a month. Why doesn't he have the packages delivered to his store? He does, but when he's not there, the mailman delivers them here and then Fuller picks them up for himself. Do you know what was inside the package that I picked up a little while back? How should I? Huh. I wanted to pick up Fuller's package with the photo paper. No, please. I can't accept that. Why not? It's not signed. Fuller has to sign the note? Stupid. The mailman, of course. Fuller should ask him tomorrow morning. He probably just forgot when he was posting the note through Fuller's door. It's not possible. What can you tell me about Dr. Newhouse? The Newhouses? Well, they came here a few years back. He was a big cheese in Boston. Miss Newhouse has brought a good bit of style to this little town. I know her. My girlfriend Betty is her best friend. Really? She gossips as much too? We don't gossip, okay? You really want to know all this stuff? Is that a girlfriend of yours? Yeah, one of my best ones. Does she sit about in this store the whole day? Excuse me? I wouldn't know what that would have to do with you. I just mean, has she got a job or not? She doesn't need one. Actually, her husband has plenty of dough. And even if he didn't, then she could easily earn good money working as a photo model. As a photo model, huh? That could maybe help me out some. Oh, really? Uh, nothing. It's okay. Along with all the tourist stuff and the mail, you're the local travel agent too, aren't you? Have you got anything about a place called Willow Creek in England? Of course we do. Take a look back there on the flyers. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Handbills for local events. Grand New Year Bazaar. Hits a go-go, dance till you drop. Oh, man. Huh. Every possible kind of form. 
garbage and large object collection, telephone rerouting. Here's a form from the Make Our Town Prettier Committee. My mom's on the board of that one. It seems you should send in suggestions for improvements around the town. Coffee mugs, little lighthouses, badges. What more could the tourist ha Hmm. Now I wonder, there might be a mention of this Willow Creek place in these travel guides. Really? Willow Creek pops up in the index. Page 42, section Horror, Hauntings, and History. Let's see. There it is. Only a small box. Willow Creek on the trail of the killer. Willow Creek on the trail of a killer. Fans of the macabre will certainly get their money's worth in Willow Creek. For in this sleepy little English town is where you can wander in the footsteps of Samuel Gordon. The Worcestershire Ripper, the scion of one of England's oldest families. The Gordon's Castle lies close to the town, but is unfortunately not open for guided tours. Murdered five people in 1981. Among these was Victor Valley, who was just 12 years old. The Willow Creek Museum awaits the horror-friendly visitor with a permanent display relating to the murders, as well as guided tours from April through to October. Charming little town. And from this horror resort is where my mom gets her monthly payments. Wonderful. <laughs>